Finding the Inverse of a 3 by 3 Matrix by Juliet and, and Catherine. Yay. Okay, so say we have the following matrix. 1, negative 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 4. To start out for finding the inverse of this matrix, we have to use the cofactors. And to do we do this by covering up the first row and the first column, which gives us one, one, two, four. Okay, then we cover up the first row and the second column, which gives us one, 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 four. Next, we cover up the first row and the third column, which gives us Until then. One, 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 two. Yay! So now we do this for the rest of the columns in rows. So for the second row and the third col the third row. And so we do this so on. Which gives us this. After doing this, we're going to find the determinant for all the cofactors. So since this is a two by two matrix. Uh, two by two. We are going to do, use A D minus B C. So we get one times four minus two, one, two. equals two. <laughs> and then one times four minus one is three. One times two minus one is one, and so on and so forth. So you get negative six, three, three, negative two. 0 and 2. Okay, so now we input the sine matrix into the matrix that we just got. And the sine matrix is, well, basically alternate. So it starts plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus. So we input this sine matrix into this matrix and we get ignore the sounds in the background uh two three negative three because there's the negative from the sine matrix one still remains the same negative six changes to six because negative plus negative is a positive i mean times negative is a positive uh three remains the same this becomes negative three this still remains negative two 0 remains the same, and 2 remains the same. Next, we flip the numbers over the this diagonal that's highlighted. So we would be flipping negative 3 with 6, 1 with negative 2, and 0 with negative 3. So we will get... 2, 3, 2, since the diagonals don't change, 6, negative 3, that was big, negative 2, 1, 0, and negative 3. Okay, our last step to find the inverse of our original matrix is to multiply this by the determinant of our original matrix. So, to define... To find the determinant of our original matrix, I used expansion by minors. So we get 1, 1, 1, 2, 4, minus negative 1 times 1, 1, wait, um, 1, 4, sorry, I'm still writing properly. Plus, I'm going to have to go down here. Sorry about this, people. 1, 1, 1, 
one, two. Which equals the determinant. We'll just call it DET. Um, so, which is basically equal to one times one times four minus well, two is two minus negative three plus one, which is equal to six. So that is our determinant. Hooray. So after, now that we found the determinant, we plug it into here, which also means that we're multiplying the whole matrix by 1 over 6. So then we will get 1 over 3, 1, negative 1 over 3, negative 1 over 2, 1 over 2, this is bad handwriting, 0, 1 over 6, negative 1 over 2, and 1 over 3. And this is the inverse of the beginning matrix. Yay! And that is how you find the inverse of a 3 by 3 matrix. The end. That was 7 minutes of your life gone! But at least you spent it doing the one thing you love. Physics! Physics! Physics. We were going <laughs> to say math. math.